Hello, it's How To Not To and in today's video I'm going to give you some tips on what to look for when you want to buy a new washing machine. So to start off with um, you want to consider the load capacity. So before you buy a washing machine you'll need to consider what size drum you need to get. How many loads of washing do you do daily or weekly on a weekly basis? So those are the things you need to consider. Um, whether you need to opt for a larger capacity machine and um, how quickly you want the clothes to be washed as well. That's another thing to consider. So larger households might require between 8 and 10 kilograms capacity machine. Basically between 8 and 10 kilo washing machine drum can hold a double duvet or up to 35 shirts. However if you're single or only have a small family five or seven kilos between five and seven kilo drum capacity is more than enough should be able to hold a single duvet and the equivalent of 25 t-shirts something like that anyway a larger drum will also tend to be more efficient requiring less water and detergent to wash the same amount of clothes as a machine with a smaller drum so Oh, before I move on to the next thing, something to be aware of when considering buying a washing machine is although it states nine kilos, for example, drum capacity, most of the cycles will recommend um, a lesser load. For example, if you want a quick wash, then the recommended load is two kilos. The new washing machines now, so I've noticed that cycles are much longer, especially the cotton wash. They can take hours to or wash your, your load. On a, if you're doing a full load, that's, for example, nine kilos. So this will take much longer. People who struggle to fill their washing machines every time should look for washing machines that offer a half load option. Okay, we're now moving on to spin speed RPM. Another essential feature of the washing machine I recommend considering is its spin cycle, which particularly dries the clothes while it's still in the machine. The higher a washing machine's maximum spin speed, the the, the better its drying capability is likely to be. So a standard spin speeds range from 800, 1200 RPM, and this can go up to 1400 RPM. In fact, the higher end wash machines also can do a 1600 RPM, thereby reducing the total drying time. The spin speed tells you how fast the drum is capable of spinning in resolutions per minute, RPM. Generally speaking, the faster the spin speed, the drier your washing machine will be when the machine has finished. So with um, budget with washing machines, you may spin at around 1,100 um, RPM. I think the average actually is 1,200 now, but um, you want to look for 1,400 or 1,600 RPM machines for the best performance. Uh, but however, this doesn't necessarily mean that your clothes will be washed any better, but um, I'll come to that later on. Energy consumption and water use are the two factors that determine how much your washing machine will cost to run per year. So look for energy efficient machines graded A or above. So with this symbol A++ signs option should be the most energy efficient and use the least water basically and therefore the cheapest to run. But that doesn't mean they're the best at washing clothes. So the pros are higher rated machines use less energy and water where and the cons of that is the lower rated machines often clean better. The higher the grade means less electricity is used by the machine. Therefore, the running cost per annual should save you money, including any energy used during the power off and standby modes. It may be better to spend more upfront to get a cheaper running cost, saving you money over the lifetime of the machine. So many are now equipped with eco settings that limit the energy or water used in each, each wash. Each washing machine manufacturer has its own special features designed to improve your wash quality 
and save you money. For example, the Samsung's Eco Bubble technology dissolves detergent using water and air to create bubbles that penetrate and clean clothes more efficiently. Its 15 Celsius wash cycle can also help you save you money. Pay a careful attention to the special wash cycles on a wash machine. Uh, for example, a Walmart certified machine can wash woolen garments, while some machines have special silk modes. So if you frequently wear delicate items, um, a hand wash mode can save you a lot of manual labour. Some machines have anti-creasing as well and easy iron settings, which will make it easier to care for your, those items you need to iron at the end of the wash. Display and ease of use. Yeah, just make sure you get a washing machine that is easy for you to use. As uh, washing machines get more technical, it is important to make them to have a model that's easy to understand and use. It can also be handy to have a washing machine with clear display that shows you its current settings and how long it is left on the current wash, wash cycle. What are the best brands to buy? Mm, good question. The best brands to buy is um, German made washing machines like for example Miley and but they are very expensive as you probably know and Bosch as well is a good brand. Um, you might also want to consider Siemen and um, Samsung is okay as well. I've read some good reviews on the Samsung washing machines. Okay, we're now down to the noise. So if you have an open planned house, living area and kitchen, go for a much quieter machines with uh, noise level, um, noise level wash 53 decibels and noise level spin around 74 or less decibels that is. And also to consider, the, probably the most important, <laughs> well, nearer the top this should have been, the dimensions of the washing machine. So do make sure that the washing machine you're buying fits in the space allocated to it. Uh, I have researched a lot of washing machines and uh, I've noticed that the average size of the washing machine is, the dimension is around between 55 and 60. The Beko is more, the depth is about 64 centimeters that is yeah centimeters and the width is generally about um, 59 centimeters the samsung is 60 centimeters and the height of your average washing machine is 85 centimeters um, you also want to bear in mind that you want to have a bit of space around the washing machine to allow it to run properly you know especially when it spins it might you know rock about a bit <laughs> so um, so please make sure you measure the depth width and height of, uh, of the machine so leave a few inches between the the width each side of the wash machine and at the top and bottom <laughs> okay one last thing to consider is the warranty as well uh, all appliances come with a one year free guarantee warranty. You should also consider looking for a washing machine with um, free warranty for repairs and replacements. So um, I have checked online and um, for the middle and higher range washing machines you get five year free parts. And with the lower end um, it's around one year between one and two years. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it's been useful. If it has, then please leave a like. If I've left anything out, then please let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.